Shalom. Our praise is going in honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakodash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem means in the name Yahweh Shai is in the world. Ignorantly referred to as Jesus, and Rakakodash means Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to hopefully let. This will be a um a response to the uh, video on screen by the elder Malcolm, uh, the head of GMS Chicago. Title is Daughter of Zion, Learn Your Place, and his channel is GMS Maccabean Spirit. Now, in this video, uh, I'm not going to play it, you can watch it, but I just basically want to respond to uh, the comment that uh, uh, I, I believe a woman uh, might have left. And she basically basically said to the, uh, I'm just going to sum up the comment. Basically, she came with the, um, with the notion that the Most High, like literally the Most High himself is going to deliver us. You know, as she might, you know, when you, when I watch the video, it, it's like she an Old Testament, uh, Old Testament only, and uh, those people don't believe in the the, the Son of the Lord Yahweh Shai, which he's prophesied all throughout the Old Testament. I'm not gonna get into it in this lesson. The uh, the elder did, but I just want to deal with the fact that uh, the Most High is not gonna do it. All right, just just like his title alone, the Most High. All right. See, he's the architect of all things, okay? Does the architect, does the literal building, or does he lay out the plan to do it? He lays out the plan, but who gets the credit? The architect, all right? Why? Because it was his brain, it was his idea, it was his calculations that brought everything forth. And that's the same thing with the Most High. He, he did this. He's going to do the saving. He's, he, he maps out the plan for the saving to be done. He's not going to do it literally, just like Moses, all right? When he delivered, when we got delivered out of Egypt, who delivered us out of Egypt? The Most High delivered us out of Egypt through the hand of Moses. What did he tell Moses? He said, "I will make thee a god to this people." Let me see. Grab that real quick. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, it's like, yo. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, this is, uh, this is Exodus 4 and 15. It says, Thou shalt speak unto him and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth and with and with his mouth and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people. And he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth. And thou shalt be to him instead of God. Why? Because he was, uh, why he was telling um, Aaron and, and the people the words from the Lord. They weren't hearing it from the Lord directly. All right. But anyway, let me get a... Uh, <coughs> Let me see. Right arm. Salvation. Mm. Right, right, right. This is Isaiah 59 and 16. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. This is the most high. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him. And his righteousness, it sustained him. So the Lord going to save by his right hand, his right arm. Who is his right hand? His right arm is his son, Yahweh Shai. That's why it says, the scripture says, he sits on the right hand of the father. All right? Now, uh, in this lesson, when I was watching this lesson from the elder, I thought of uh, what, 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 through the spirit, what prompted my response was these two scriptures. Uh... Really is 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 one, but then as you further ponder on it, you know further strips, you know through the spirit, further scriptures come. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, that one, and then I'm gonna get the very first one. Now, the second one that came to me, or third, it don't matter. Uh, was this one? It's in Kings. Uh, this for people uh that think that the Most High Himself. Gonna, gonna save and deliver us. Check out what the scripture says. It says, uh, 
This is 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 27. It says, But will the Most High indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee. Let's look up contain. Kawal, measure, calculate, sustain, support. So, the Most High is in heaven, and, and heaven not even enough. And heaven is numerous. He he heaven is vast, all right? The heaven of heavens, out of space, all of that. Uh, another dimension, if you will. That can't even contain, that can't even contain the Lord. It says, how much less this house that I have, that, that I have built it, all right? And that goes back into the, uh, what? Uh, 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 Isaiah and, and Acts, you know, the Lord dwelleth not in builders made by hands. But this scripture said the heaven can't even contain the Lord, let alone this little position I built on earth. Now, let me um jump to uh, the scripture in Psalm. Let's uh, uh. Let me see. It's this beautiful scripture in Psalms on this topic. Uh, right, all right. This is Psalm 113 uh, and 4. Psalm 113 and 4. It says, Yahweh is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto Yahweh our power who dwelleth on high? Who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. So the Most High literally humbles himself to even behold creation. He's so far above, he's so far above and beyond creation. Like, it's it's just so not on his level that he actually got to humble himself to even look at it. Let alone, you mean to tell me he going to come to earth? He, he going to come to this polluted place. He going to come and see all this sin. It says, humble, Sh Shapal, to be or become low, sink, be humble, be a base, to humiliate, to a to a base, to make low. So the Most High is so above and beyond everything we can imagine. Just Him looking, just Him looking upon creation is just is is Him, is Him, uh, taking His tone of Himself down for lack of a better term. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Shalom.